This is my new PVC Handycam rig. Uh, it's a stabilizer. I've made it out of about two and a half feet of half inch PVC. Four right angles. Uh, this cost me about two bucks at the hardware store. I simply cut this into two five inch pieces, two nine inch pieces, connected it all. I didn't glue it, so I can take this apart at any time. A little bit of JB Weld. This stuff is great. I highly recommend it. Uh, and an old Gorilla Pod I had. I called Joby. They sent me a new one because this one was broken. The legs would come apart. Um, I got rid of the bad knuckles and I'm using the new one now to film on. So I ended up recycling this and the old head, glued it to the rig. Now this is a little different than others I've seen online who use a screw which is straight through it, which is good and stable, it works, uh, but I needed something that was universal and could work with the rest of my tools. So this allows me to easily connect to Joby's video pod. It's pretty cool. It's got magnetic feet. It's got a smooth pan. Okay tilt. It's a little stiff, but it works. Um, in addition, it allows me, of course, to connect to the one I'm on right now and then swiftly back to this on the fly. So I like this rig. Um, it's very basic. It's not a steady cam, but it does definitely help with the handshake uh, when you're using a small handy cam. Those are hard to keep still. So check it out. Now we're going to go to the video pod, to the handheld, and then back to the still. Now we're on the Gorilla Pod video. With a little practice, you get some really good pans. All things considered. Keep in mind, this is a travel setup. I'm not talking uh, broadcast quality here. But all in all, I'd say pretty good. Now we're going to dismount from the video, go straight to the handheld, and do a couple of movements. So, as you can see, it's really not a steady cam, but it is a two handed stabilizer. It allows me to get a wider grip and to control my movements a little bit better. And there's the still pod that I was just shooting with.